everybody, Critical Mass for the 15th of December 2012. Just got back from a run. Yeah, you know, it's nice to feel your knees acting up right off the bat. It's a good feeling. But I really don't need to talk about that today. <clears throat> you know, I did my uh, Critical Mass yesterday morning before all the shit happened in Newton, Connecticut. And it wasn't shit. I mean, the horrible stuff. And... Uh, I just don't get it. I was talking to a guy and I just, you know, they interviewed a woman who was a bus driver and of course she said he was polite, very well mannered, the kid and everything. They always say that. They always say the kid's polite, well mannered. And uh, I just don't know how somebody shoots and kills a bunch of uh, ki kindergarten kids. I mean, they were all under the age, they were aged from someone from 5 to 10, 20 kids, 5 teachers in a school. What, 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 you know, hey, you know, we have bad days. We all have bad days. We get pissed off. We do stuff. You know, somebody cut me off when I was riding today, but I didn't take out a gun and shoot the two of them dead, did I? I mean, I thought about punching the side of the car, but, you know, that's me. You know, I got a little bit of a temper sometimes, but uh, I didn't take out a gun and shoot them and then go find their whole family and shoot everybody and their families. And uh, I just don't understand what's going on anymore. Just, you know, but... I know all this stuff has happened throughout time. You know, we just have more news and everything around. We have more access to media and everything than we ever did before. But there were always people going crazy um, throughout time. And they're saying that, you know, now, you know, kids are on medication, whatever, and access to guns. I think people always had access to guns. And some people would go crazy. And so I, I don't know if I find that, you know, what am I trying to say? Um... I just feel like this has been going on forever. It's just we, you know, we, we hear more reports of it than we heard in the past because, you know, more media. But there's always been people that have gone nuts, you know, and killed their family or whatever. But I guess this is a little different is that, you know, that innocent kids, you know, well, what did they do? Why, what, what, what made them snap that he decided to shoot all these little kids? And that town's gonna take a long time to recover, and it's just gonna make my uh, my crazy my my batshit crazy sister-in-law even more freaking uh, protect overprotective of her kids. And everybody says it now. Now now they say you know we're so overprotective of our kids. But you know, a guy I was talking to yesterday says you know even on the subway you know I don't somebody bumps into me I, you know I don't say anything anymore. You don't know if someone's on the train. That's what he said. He, well, it was interesting. He said that he said yesterday uh, you know on the subways they they don't. There's no way to monitor. Someone could come on with a gun and go up. And, and I'll tell you there, it, it would be scary as shit because, you know, you can't, there's nowhere to run. <clears throat> so, uh, but I don't want to put those thoughts out there. You know, you know, there's enough, you know, we got Criminal Minds and CSI and all those crazy shows that come up with all these scenarios. A lot of them that are true, whatever, but that just, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like to think about it. You know, I want to think some positive, good thoughts. It's a holiday season, you know, it's a new year, end of a year, start of a new year, resolutions coming, all that stuff. So, uh, just horrible, horrible those kids were killed. It just, uh, despicable, disgusting. Um, and I don't know if we're ever going to get answers because the kid's not alive unless they find his computer or something or what happened that made this kid just go off the deep end. So, uh. I just don't understand, you know, you know, count to 10 and blow your own head off and that's the end of it. And then, you know, but these people do this shit and then they kill themselves. It doesn't, it doesn't make, you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to take everybody out with me and then I'm going to do something. We got that football player a couple of weeks ago, Belcher, you know, you know, shooting, shooting his ex nine times. It's, you know, that's an, that's an angry man. It's a lot of bullets. And this guy, 20 kids killed with a total of 20, what is it, 25? I even, you know what, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't watch the news yesterday. I, I just, I heard it. I didn't want to watch any more of it. I just was like, you know, it was just going to put me in a mood I didn't need to be into. So uh, one of the guys at the shoot yesterday says, I don't want to say anything because it's going to put a damper on the shoot. So he, he seemed pretty shook up, and it was all over the news, you know, so... I listened, we listened to the radio the whole, when, when I got picked up and I got dropped off at the train station, we, I heard the news report, the Channel 4 News talking to bus drivers, and heard they were interviewing kids, well, who, who else they get, of course they're going to talk to kids in the school, they're, kids heard shootings, I don't know, they said they shouldn't have talked to the kids, 
They're reporters. They have to get the news. That's they don't care. They're gonna talk to the the source and the sources who was ever in the school at the time of the shooting happening. So I don't know. People are like, oh, the kids being interviewed. I was like, what are you gonna do? So I'm babbling now. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, there's peanut looking and looking away the peanut butter left over from my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So uh, I I might talk up to you later. Sorry, this was a somber one, but. Uh, you know, kind of sad, sad what happened to those kids. All right, I'll talk to you. Bye-bye.